वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ टू सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डी टू वाई डी एक्स टू प्लस वन बाई एक्स डी वाई डी एक्स माइनस वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर वाई लॉग एक्स यार द कोफिशेंट्स आर वेरिएबल वी यूज द फॉर्मूला वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर्स यार Let's start. The differential equation is d2y dx2 plus 1 by x dy dx minus 1 by x square y equal to log x. Now we convert the differential equation to the standard form. Standard form is f x whole square. d2 y dx2 plus fx dy dx plus y equal to 5x to convert the standard form we now multiply x square both sides then we get x square d2y dx2 plus x dy dx minus y equal to x square log x now we substitute fx equal to e to the power t since here f x is x so let x equal to e to the power t therefore dx dt equal to e to the power t again e to the power t equal to x therefore dy dx equal to dy dt into dt dx Since dx dt is x, therefore dt dx is one by x. So we get dy dt into one by x. Therefore, x dy dx equal to dy dt equal to theta y, where theta equal to d dt. Similarly. We can get x square d two y d x two equal to theta into theta minus one into y. Therefore, for one, here the one is this. From one, we get theta into theta minus one into y plus theta y minus y. Equal to e to the power two t into t. Therefore, d theta square y minus y equal to t e to the power two t. Therefore, reduced equation is theta square y minus y equal to zero. Just put zero in the right hand side. Therefore, auxiliary equation is m square minus one equal to zero. Therefore, we get m equal to plus minus one. Therefore, complementary function is y c f equal to c one e to the power t plus c two e to the power minus t. Let y one equal to e to the power t and y two equal to e to the power minus t are two solutions. Now, we check the independence of y one and y two. Therefore, we can calculate. Lorentz scan of y1 and y2. Lorentz scan of y1 and y2 is a determinant of order two, where y1, y2 in the first row and in the second row y1 dash y2 dash. That is the derivatives. Therefore, e to the power t e to the power minus t and the derivative part e to the power t e to minus e to the power minus t. Therefore, determinant value is minus two, not equal to zero. Therefore, y1 and y2 are Therefore, we can 
choose the general equation as y1 u plus y2 v. Since here y1 is e to the power t and y2 is e to the power minus t, therefore we get e to the power t u plus e to the power minus t v. Therefore, theta y equal to e to the power t u minus e to the power minus t v plus e to the power t du dt plus e to the power minus t du dt. Now, we can choose u and v in such a way that this part which that is e to the power t du dt plus e to the power minus t du dt equal to 0 again the equation as 4. Since this part is 0, therefore we get theta y equal to e to the power t u minus e to the power minus t to v since this part is 0. Therefore we get theta y equal to e to the power t u minus e to the power minus t to v. If we differentiate again, we get theta 2y equal to e to the power tu plus e to the power minus tv plus e to the power t du dt minus e to the power minus t dv dt. We have this equation 5. From 2, 3 and 5, 5, 3 and 2, we get we get e to the power t u plus e to the power minus t v plus e to the power t du dt minus e to the power minus t dv dt minus e to the power t u minus e to the power minus t v equal to t e to the power 2 t. If we cancel e to the power t u minus e to the power t u and e to the power minus t v minus e to the power minus t v then we get e to the power t du dt minus e to the power minus t du dt equal to t to the power t we name it as equation 6. Now 4 minus 6 implies here 4 is this and 6 is this. If we divide if we sorry if we subtract 4 and 6 we then this term then then this term we will cancel and we get the minus t dv dt minus minus e to the power minus t dv dt that is 2 e to the power minus t dv dt equal to 0 minus t to the power 2 t that is minus t to the power 2 t so we have 2 e to the power minus t dv dt equal to minus t e to the power 2 t if we divide 2 e to the power minus t then we get dv dt equal to minus half t e to the power 3 t therefore v equal to integration of the right hand side equal to minus half t e to the power 3 t dt plus e equal to minus half e to t e to the power 3 t by 3 minus 1 third e to the power 3 t by 3 plus e equal to minus 1 by 6 t e to the power 3 t plus 1 by 8 t e to the power 3 t plus e therefore from 4 we get 4 that is from this equation we get e to the power t t u e to the power t d u d t equal to minus e to the power minus t minus half t e to the power 3 t therefore d u d t equal to half t e to the power t equal to half integral therefore u equal to half integration t e to the power t plus v equal to half t e to the power t minus half e to the power t plus v Therefore, from 3, the general each solution is here. 3 is the equation this y equal to e to the power t plus e to the power minus t into v. So we get y equal to e to the power t u plus e to the power minus t v equal to e to the power t into u. u is half t e to the power t minus half 
do the t plus b and v is minus 1 by 6 t to the power 2t plus 1 by 18 to the power 3t plus a. Therefore, we have so we get a e to the power minus t plus b to the power t plus 1 third t to the power 2t minus 1 by 9 sorry minus 4 by 9 e to the power 2t so we get a e to the power minus t plus b to the power t plus 1 third e to the power 2t minus 4 by 9 e to the power 2t since e to the power t equal to x therefore e to the power minus t equal to 1 by x again it was t equal to x so finally we get a by x plus bx plus 1 by 9 into 3 log x minus 4 into x square thanks for watching